Press tab to open your inventory! Welcome back to Wuppo. Let's press tab and open our inventory. This time, navigate to the blue block. I'm, I'm on it, right now. Click on an item to equip it. That's interesting that they, like, move depending on your UI to show the, the dialogue. Click on an item to equip it. Nothing. You seem quite friendly like this. Okay, that didn't do anything. The local currency. Smirt has a distinct look and feel, making it hard to counterfeit. Coins used by Splank hackers at Wonder Splank. For fuck's sake, what is this game? What is happening? Gum gum gun. Oh, gum gum gun. A quickly shooting weapon that leaves a, a painty mess behind. That's like a key item, I see. And I don't know what these are. And if you double tap it, you get back to the overall inventory. Wow, this is uh, pretty overwhelming. All right, click it. Easy, right? You can equip every item you acquire on your journey. The item I just gave you is a gum gum gun. Holding left mouse button will make you continuously shoot gum gum balls towards your cursor. So if anything on your path is unfriendly, give it a gum gum shower. Oh, I couldn't shoot him, I tried. Oh, one more thing. Sometimes you'll find yellow gum gum blocks. You can easily destroy them with your gum gum gun. I used those to seal off my previous house, but feel free to destroy them. Now it's time for you to get back to the Wum House. Good luck! Why, hello again, damn it. Do you have a question about something? Find the underground tunnel. Items, film strips, I need a match. Uh, let's say never mind for now. Okay, see you. Okay, nothing happens. Can't shoot anything. Can't shoot the lamp. And you don't have to click every time. All right, interesting. Hello again. Items. Ah, yes. Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna be the same thing, but no, there's more stuff. You should definitely get to know some more advanced information about items. Well, the first thing you should know is that you can char change items anytime with a mouse wheel. But once you have many items, you might want to start using hotkeys to equip them. You can easily do that by going into your item inventory and hovering over an item, then press any digit on your keyboard to make, make that your hotkey for equipping the item. Equipping an item the normal way can be very frustrating when battling monsters or if you're in danger, so it's very smart to think of nice shortcuts. So we press tab, go in here, one. Cool. And I mean, I guess I can do like one, two, so I can swap between nothing and gun, but I don't know if there's any reason to, if I need to have nothing at some point, just to show that I'm not a threat. Wait, can you double tap it? No. If you tap it again when you have it out, you just do it again, instead of like swapping back to nothing. And if I say items one more time... More advanced information. Yeah? Alright. Thanks, guy. Film strips. Ah yes, I'm very glad that you seem to be a culture lover! Film strips tell stories about the place or creatures where you acquired them. And sometimes it's very useful or even necessary to get to know the world around you before you know what to do. Every area contains a rich history and is full of secrets. That sounds good to me. If you want to make the most of your adventure, you should definitely watch every film strip you can find. Do I have to come back here to do that or can I do it at like various locations? No clue. I need a match! You need a match? Let me see. Oh! Thanks! There you go! Great! I need a match! You need a match? Let me see. Looks like you already have a match. What? Why did I need a match? A match! It hardly gives any light, but maybe you can light something else with it. I don't know why I got that, and why he had the idea to do that, but sure. So if I go up here now, I can swim up this way. And I'm just gonna head over here. Oh hi, the bird is back! 
Can't shoot the bird. Also, if you jump and shoot... Oh. I did not mean to do that, but okay. Where? Where is the Alice Wetter? I feel like that sign might explain what happened to him. So, can you read signs? Yes. I mean, I should have said no, but yes. What does the sign say? Infinite question marks. The Alice Wetter hates you. The Alice Wetter moved because of you. Nothing. I'll just be honest. Dot dot dot. Well, that's not completely unexpected. Our relationship is very, uh, complicated. I really try to be his friend, but I can't help myself from yelling where every few seconds. He really hates the Wes! But after a while, I started enjoying that. Hey, what about you? What's your name? My name is... Slim Shady? Scallywag! I love that name. Is that my name? Anyway, it looks like I'm going to stick with you for a while now, Scallywag. So I might as well tell you what I'm useful for. Where? I spent a lot of time around the Alice Wetter, so I know many things now, too. You can equip me just like any other item in the game. Whenever I see something I have some information about, I'll spread my wings. If you click on me then, I'll start talking. It's Navi! Woohoo! I, I mean, I'm happy about that. Let's get out of this dump! So, go in here, equip him on two. Where, where? And he doesn't know anything here. But he does here? Aha! Looks like the Alice Wetter was cooking something before he moved out. Maybe we can light the stove with a match. I see, that's why I need it. Maybe the Alice Wetter still uses them. Whoa, suddenly nighttime. There actually is a day night cycle. I'm just gonna go over here and save. Great. So these are the yellow blocks that I can destroy, yeah, okay. But I can also get some information here. I hope you know about this one already, but this is a save bucket. It's complicated, but if you jump in there, you'll live forever. Even if you die, you'll be reborn in this bucket. It contains a very special kind of paint. It copies your identity somehow. Then when your energy... Uh, maybe another time. I really like long stories. Oh, nope, not there. He doesn't know about the uh, yellow blocks. And if you do it again, same thing. So wait, can I do like this and then one more, then jump up here? Aha, film strip. So what now? If I go over here, the Fnacker Wars. Yeah, I have to go back and actually plug it in. I wonder if you'll find different spots, or if you can, like, teleport to it or something. We'll see. Let's equip the uh, bird down here and just see if he says anything underwater. Doesn't seem like it. He talks about the Alice Wetter. Wah! No! What have you done? Wah! Please, take that bird away from me! Wah! Okay. Sorry, Alice Wetter. Why, hello again? Nope, not really. Okay, see you! The Fnacker Wars. Fnacker Wars. Ah, a classic film strip about the Fnacker Wars. The moment the four races set foot on the world, the Fnackers decided they wanted to rule it. Immediately, a war started. And he's already sleeping. Or was he? Tough times arrived, especially for the ones. They had no way to defend themselves from Fnacker attacks, whereas Blussers could spray the Fnackers away and Splink... Why is that red? I don't even know. Splink hackers could spit Splink rocks. The ones were forced to use their intelligence if they wanted to survive. After a while, the ones figured out a special technique that would lead them to victory against the Fnackers. 
A worm called Bert Smolder discovered the brute force be behind the combination of Splink and Bluswater. When Splink gets in contact with Bluswater, the Splink will absorb the Bluswater and increase in size tremendously. The Splink hackers would spit Splink rocks while the Blussers would spray Bluswater on them. With the power of the combination and the strategy of the Wums, the three races bundled their powers and push the Fnackers down the sinkhole. And so the war ended. The Wums celebrated their victory by building the Wum House. The Blussers went to live right next to them in the garden. The Splink Hackers went their own way, feeling destined to build a theme park. And my my, what a theme park it is, that is. I wish I could live in Wonder Splink. This film strip is always a good time. Thank you for bringing it to me. I lost mine ages ago. I'll give you something in return. And the reward is... Wisdom! You got wisdom! You're much wiser now, now you've seen this film strip. Feels great, doesn't it? Plus 100... Oh, 1. So I have 101 health now. Great. And that's it. Cool. You might notice a couple of awkward cuts here and there when I'm reading stuff, because I tend to mess up my reading a lot, and then I need to reread it and shit. Oh, does he say anything here? It's a bit hard to tell when he's, like, spreading his wings or not. But let's head up here again and see if he says anything about the Wum House or the perch he was on before. And yeah, we can go right as well, or left into his kitchen, or whatever that was. Nothing here. Oh man, heavy rainfall. The music is really interesting so far. Ahoy there! How'd you end up there, Wum? You got thrown out? By Carlo? The service desk, Wum? Don't worry, I can open the door for you. One sec. Ah! What is this? Oh. Is it like ice cream? No? Sorry. The door is blocked by something. I can't get inside either. It's okay. What do we do? Hmm. I guess we can always ask the Alice Wetter. He lives somewhere here. But not too long ago, he moved to a different location because some bird was getting on his nerves. It just kept making the same noise over and over again. And whenever the Alice Wetter went out, the bird followed him. I guess the Alice Wetter moved to a location where the bird can't follow him. Hey, bird. What was the bird called? Did it say it had a name? Have you found the Alice Wetter yet? Yeah. Great. Well, how do we get back? Underground tunnel. An underground tunnel? That sounds scary. I think I'm just going to stay here until someone opens the doors. Good luck to you, though. La la la. Alright. You have fun. Can I shoot him down? Not quite. Oh, I actually can hit him. But yeah, it's not enough. I'm just completely, like, baffled by this game so far. I don't know what to make of it at all. We'll just have to see. Kind of a neat little animation when you dive down. He takes a deep breath before diving. Aha! So that's it. Just a save point. And what was this? Ow! Oh, that hurt. Holy shit, what the fuck? What the hell happened there? Oh, wait, was I supposed to do that? Like, shoot this and it knocked into the wall and scared the fish? Or, like, made the fish react? I'm killing myself. So that's good. I was kind of expecting this to be, like, a thing I could break, but no. I guess that was just it. Just banging it against the wall and then the thing reacted. Yeah, okay. So if we go in here, do we heal up? Yeah, you heal up again. Should I try what happens if you die? Like, we haven't seen it, but... Obviously, you would normally not die to this, but sure, let's just see. 
No, no death run for me. Because I want to find out. Is the damage random, or is it, like, based on how fast it's going? Wow. Just instant. You're just back at the, the pot. I wonder if you keep everything you do. Like, if I go out and I find some, uh... What were they called again? Oh, it doesn't even say. Just currency. Oh, smart! Smart and just coins used by Splink hackers at Wonder Splink. But yeah, smart is the currency, and if we find smart and then die, do we get to keep it or not? That we'll have to find out later on. So now, do we have a giant fish here? Yes, we do! Oh, it's a boss! I thought it was a friendly fish! Um, so far he's not really doing anything. Like, why would I even get hit by this if I'm just standing on land here? Okay, there we go. Now it's something I can actually- Oh, Jesus! Yeah, get hit by. Almost dead! There we go. Can I get a health up? Nice. That was just a health restore up to one and 101. And I got an item. Oh, Denksnavel. That's his name. Denksnavel. Whatever. Is this? I, I have no idea where this game is from. I have to look that up because like these these words sound like just made up words. But at the same time, it sounds like kind of a language almost similar to Swedish, but not really. Not a lot of them. I have no idea. AKA your best friend. When Dank Snabble spreads its wings, it is wings. Oh man. You can ask for information. I guess it's not probably not made by a, a native English company, I would imagine, with a name like this and all of the crazy names, so tiny grammar mistakes, I guess, are permissible. Bucket! Buckets are used for carrying water. Oh shit, I can actually, like, equip it and stuff. I didn't think I could. Can I hotkey items like this? You can! Wow. Okay. And the match. And it actually does give me light. So you could theoretically use it in, like, a... What are these? In, like, a cave or something. And I can't dunk it into water. Nothing? I thought these were things, but nope. And he doesn't say anything now. dap de doo La la la. And if we go up here, we can't go anywhere else. At least not yet. And I, I guess I'll light this, why not? Do, did I lose my match by doing that? Oh! Ah! So now I can ride up the, the bubbles? How does this even make any sense? Yeah, I lost it. Okay. So I guess these items are just one-time use items instead of the key items. These key items you will you can use infinitely, I suppose. What's with the stars? Like, this has three stars. And then this is... Consumables, I, I suppose? So like health potions and whatnot. And then here are just usable items or like event items or whatever you would call them, where you can use them one time and do something. So if I stand here, yeah, I just get taken up. I, I kind of, yeah, I want to go down for a second. Before we go up there, I want to check out what's over here. Aha, and these yellow blocks respawn. So if I break them and then go back, they're back. So that's if you miss out, if you just break everything here, you can't jump up anymore. So you would have to break it in a smarter way next time. Temple Ruins. Is it just like actually kind of open, this game, where you can just go many different ways? Because if so, that's really cool. I like that. Ah! Excuse me. 
Do you have anything to say, bird? What was his name? Dink Snavel? Yep, that's it. Are these enemies? Nope, just bounce pads. Huh? Why did I just get a, get a heart? Do you take fall damage? I mean, not from that distance, but we fell- oh! Why did that one break? Why is that one special? Huh. Weird. But yeah, we fell out of a giant building, so I assume there's no fall damage. And this isn't something we can, like, hang on to. There's someone. Wacky waving flailing arms, whatever thing. Are they... They're evil? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, they're dead. Yeah, this part kind of reminds me of Knit Underground a little bit, or just Knit games, where you can just sort of explore around and go so many different paths, which is cool. Warning! The sinkhole ahead! Ah! Oh, good. You're a bum! What else? Yeah, I guess I've been a bit paranoid for a while. You see this pot helmet thing? I've... wait. You see this pot helmet thing I found stuck in the in the mud at the sinkhole? For some reason, it reminds me of dot 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 dot. It reminds me of Fnackers. I know they were all thrown into the sinkhole, but I keep dreaming that they're going to climb back up or something. I mean, nobody knows what's at the bottom of the sinkhole. So what if it's a giant trampoline that bounces them back up? What if they're already here? No! Don't be ridiculous. We need to hide. Don't be ridiculous. You're right. A giant trampoline is ridiculous. Fnackers have been dealt with long, a long time ago. We have nothing to worry about. Maybe you should take the pot helmet from me. It is only going to make me scared. Go ahead and take it. Thanks. Thank you for making me feel better. You are a very kind one. My voice is disappearing rapidly. I got a health point. Sweet. I'm going to stay here for a while. I like being away from the Wum House. The Wum House chaos these days. Good luck with whatever you're going to do. It's so nice and quiet here. And... Whatever this guy was called again, god damn it, Dank Snavel, I will probably forget again. This guy is called Freddy. He's been here for a really long time. And that's it. Alright. Uh, I think I'm just gonna head back and save, and then I'm gonna leave it there for today. Because, yeah, my, my voice is starting to just fail me. This has been a lot of reading, these first two episodes, more than I was expecting. I thought it would be more of a relaxing exploration game, or when I first saw the action thing, I thought it would be just straight up action, but there's a lot of story and a lot of reading and a lot of nonsense, so let's just save. And this, like, saving icon thing did happen occasionally when you weren't near a uh, save bucket, so I'm not sure if, if there's more to it than that, like, this will save your position if you die, but it might autosave at some points, just in case you, like, quit the game or crash or something. No idea, but we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. I'm very intrigued by this game. I have no idea where it's going to go, but it, it seems cool so far. Controls well, plays well, looks nice, sounds really good. The soundtrack is fun and playful so far, so... Let's keep on playing it and see what happens next time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!